Good evening, everybody. Ooh, it is a blustery night in Nashville, Tennessee. Do you see the camera shaking, folks? It is such a cold one. Although the conversation has been on getting ready for, I think we're at five first alert weather yes, days issued. Yes. Is that a record? Since I've been here in a row. I yeah. mean, they're, they're kind of like, you've got a little bit of a break between mm -hmm. a couple of them, but it's for like multiple different things. Yeah, I remember after our six o'clock show, Lisa was like, it's about 52 outside. You go outside now, it's not 52 at all. It is so much colder. And then when the wind hits you, it just cuts oh, right through you. It is, it's been like whoosh. And I don't know about you all, but if you've been driving around Nashville at all tonight, you saw, you will see, really slow going trucks like vans, mm -hmm. white vans on the side of the road. And I noticed they were out looking to try to get the homeless off the street tonight. Yes, and, and that is a, a major concern right now because the temperatures are supposed to drop drastically mm -hmm. within the next few days. Some of the days in the morning, teens or, or maybe single digit temperatures. Yeah, really, really cold out there. So one of the big stories our Brendan Tierney has been working on all day long is kind of the, the staple that you tend to see when we're going to have any kind of ice or snow event, and that is the salt trucks, right? And what is the latest, the numbers? I think there's always kind of like some bragging rights involved when it comes to the number of gallons, right, and tons mm -hmm. of, of salt that they have ready to go. So I want to show you a little bit here with TDOT ready to start treating the primary and secondary roads uh, ahead of the snowstorm. So the trucks, uh, they've been out uh, across the city all weekend long until that snow is cleaned up, they'll continue. Yeah, the barn has more than 10,000 tons of salt in it. NDOT says they'll start spreading it on roads as soon as the first flakes fall, but they're going to begin brine roads tomorrow morning. So this is one of our uh, assistant directors here at NDOT who was talking about how the response has always been to prepare for the worst. That's kind of what they do. So worst case scenario is making sure that they've got their treatment pre-treatment out there and makes such a big difference. He's saying that there's plows on all their trucks so they are prepared for whatever scenario comes. But here's the deal. He says that the single digit temperatures on Monday night will turn any of the snow that they haven't cleared into ice so they're using a special chemical spray on the salt to plow roads as fast as possible. You know, one of the things that we heard about today, and do you remember that like tomato mixed in with their brine? Mm -hmm. it, it was kind of an odd thing, but it's all really about the temperatures and just how cold it's gonna get, Yeah, which, they're, what works. They're also asking people to stay home and off the roads mm -hmm. all day Monday so they can get all of those main roads clean and start working on the smaller neighborhood streets, which mm -hmm. is gonna affect a lot of people. And it'll be a first come first serve basis once you start calling in and that. And of course, speaking of calling in, lots of school districts continue to be closed. Yes. So we've got always got those scrolling at the bottom of our screen in our snowbird report and oftentimes when we see weather and storms come in everyone's making that mad dash for the supermarket yeah did getting stocked up on everything they're going to need just in case the power goes out guilty as charged this guy had his he's been stocked for like four days as long as i have my creamer in the refrigerator and some wine i'm good to go <laughs> yeah i went out and i got wood i got everything that i think i was going to need to uh get through a possible power outage. But our Jordan James has been on that story and he was out at the neighborhood Costco today in Publix and Kroger, checking things out, seeing how folks are stocking up, as you mentioned there, uh, Maria. So a couple of extra things, groceries flying off the shelves, folks are saying, um, as those essentials, you know, fruit, vegetables, grains, oatmeal this guy was all about his oats yes he was he was all about the <laughs> veggies and oats you know beginning sunday temperatures could drop below freezing and produce snow throughout the week and that's going to cause some power outages and people are as you can see stocking up and getting ready that man right there grabbing mm. a lot of the toilet paper as we saw during the covid <laughs> you know the covid the cdc if you're curious about this food prep and how long your food lasts if you are to get a power outage four hours in the fridge, 48 hours in a full freezer, according to the CDC, your groceries will last. Um, the agency recommends you put perishable food in a cooler with a temperature of 40 degrees and below. And of course, I think about this now, 40 degrees and below, we're getting below that outside. Yes. So for so many people, <laughs> Put your groceries in the backyard yeah. on the back porch, right? Yeah, it's going to get mm -hmm. brutally cold out there. And, you know, we talked about the single digits that it could possibly reach. With the wind chill, it's going to get a lot colder than mm -hmm. that outside. Yeah, so another reminder for the homeless, if you know and see somebody as you're driving around who needs a lift, you can call police and they'll get the right resources out mm -hmm. to get them off the streets because the cold weather shelters even are staying open later. Normally it's from 7 to 7, mm -hmm. right? Yep. Now they're extending from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m. because it is just going to be so darn cold out there. And we want to get your homes prepared as well. Yeah. Metro Water Services is sharing tips to help people across Nashville prepare for the pipes 
-hmm. in the cold temperatures, they say the most important thing you can do is make sure the pipes aren't exposed to that outside air. Mm -hmm. So close the vents to crawl spaces and keep your garage doors closed as well. You could also let cold water drip in the faucets at risk of freezing because that running water through a pipe, even just a trickle, can help those pipes from freezing. So if you have those outdoor things that you can put on your faucets, that works. If you've got a new home, they're already built in. Guilty as oh. charged. Did, those are, too. did you know those are built yes. in to, your new, mm -hmm. to new homes? And then inside the house even, keeping your cabinets in the kitchen yes. open. Very and important just so that there's air circulating even down there in the mm -hmm. pipes. We're yep. gonna keep reminding you, we don't mean to you know, beat a dead horse, but it, it's really important when we're talking about dipping as cold as we are. Yeah, but you gotta be weather aware as these Arctic storms start to come Drake's in. And like we said, it's five today, and days of uh, first alert on weather, day, days January that are gonna be coming our way. And coming up tonight at 10, Lisa Spencer's gonna have the very latest. She's gonna have the forecast. And down to the minute of when you can expect these storms to roll through. That's right, so we hope to see you on TV in about 45 minutes as we give you another live look in downtown. Nashville the on temperature this very frigid.